Welcome back to 111 Cars and day three of our European road trip. Uh, each day we're bringing you one of these daily updates to let you know where we've been, what we've been doing and how you can get involved. And John, what a day it's been. It's just been unbelievable what we've come across today. Yeah. So our first stop after leaving very early in the morning at Amsterdam was to go to two Hanover, just near yeah, Hanover. just outside of Hanover, a place called Springbok Sportwagen, which is a, a garage which has the most amazing collection of classic cars, race cars. I, I thought I couldn't top yesterday. Yeah. Maybe I did, I don't know, <laughs> but it was amazing. Yeah, and we went there to see an incredible Elise, didn't we? Yeah, so we saw the rare Elise GT1 that competed in the 1997 FIA GT Championship. And what a machine. Yeah, when we say rare, there are only seven of these race cars ever built. Yep. Only one road car built for homologation purposes. And uh, just being up close to something that special, that historic, that important in the evolution of the Elise was just so, so special. It was, and we also noticed that it was pretty much 25 years yeah. from the car that we're traveling in on this road trip yeah. to that Elise GT1. So a yeah. full 25 years evolution of this race car. And it's still using the same chassis, really. Absolutely, it's the same car underneath. So we yeah. got the two cars parked next to each other. Amazing to just compare the two, the 25 years of development, like John said. Um, we've recorded a feature on that car, which we're gonna put together uh, and post on YouTube after the road trip. So keep an eye out for that one. That's gonna be really, really cool. Yeah, that'd be good, that one. Um, and then from there, oh, we've arrived here. We did after a nightmare journey. Ah, yes. yes. So we thought Sunday night, we couldn't top Sunday night with the closing of one of the major motorways in the UK. Now they topped it and they closed one of the major motorways in Germany. Yeah, they closed the Autobahn. So just as we were motoring to our Berlin. destination, they closed the road, about an hour, hour and a half, traffic. hour and 40 minutes in total delay. But then we rejoined the Autobahn, <laughs> Autobahn at the perfect moment, didn't we? Yeah, so we managed to kind of clear the traffic, come on the Autobahn and I, it felt like we were the first ones back on yeah, the motorway. Yeah, it was empty. Totally empty, a free run, it looked like a cannonball run, it yeah. was totally free. No speed limit. And de-restricted. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And that brought us here to uh, an incredible place, Classic Remis in Berlin. This is a classic car museum, but like no other car museum that I've been to before. So it's full of private collections, and yep. cars for sale, isn't it? Yeah. It's just an incredible and place. And there's everything. So, I mean, we've got some old Merc SL, we've got an old Merc SL 300. We've got some Cadillacs, we've got some Corvettes. We've got these French Citroëns here, which are just absolutely magnificent. All the way up to like Lamborghini yeah. Diablos, Countaches, yeah, yeah. some Bentleys. I mean, there's everything. If you could think of it, there is something. <laughs> Yeah, everything classic, modern. It's just an amazing place. And I don't know if you can see these, these glass kind of units on this side. This is all private collection. So if you own a classic or sports car, performance car, you can store it here. And basically it's a rolling kind of exhibit, isn't yeah, it? The owners you... can bring their cars, come and go, and then visitors can come and see these beautiful cars on display. So if you're ever in Berlin, make sure you check this place out. It's absolutely incredible. Um, so we're gonna spend a little bit of time here, yep. get some photos, get some video of the cars, heading out into Berlin tonight to get some more photos, and then tomorrow we are heading south, aren't we? Yeah, we've got a long drive, a typical of what we're doing <laughs> at the moment. We've got a long drive south, right through Germany to Munich and into Northern Italy. Yes, and in Northern Italy, a place called Bolzano, we are going to be meeting someone very, very important in the life of the Lotus Elise. Um, you might be able to guess who, Northern Italy, important person, but we'll leave it there. Okay. We'll tease it there yeah. and let you know tomorrow who this person is. But make sure you check out our Instagram account. We've been posting stories all day of what we've been up to. Uh, so if you give us a follow on there, you'll be able to find out where we're going and what we're up to tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe. It really helps us out. We're hoping to get to a thousand subscribers yeah, yeah. during this trip. So please do click that subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow.